Hi Bulldogs, I'm Mrs. Haas and I'm the middle school librarian and I work with Mrs. Hughes in the library and I meant to get this video recorded today at school and never got around to it so I'm at home recording it for you. Today I want to spend about five minutes talking about how to check in and check out books. While the library is closed for you to come visit during the pandemic, um, we still wanna be able to get books in your hands, both in-person learners and remote learners. So let's start first by talking about how to check in your books. There is a box outside of your cohort room that you can put your books in and we will come by and pick those up. We take them to the library where they sit for about three days to quarantine, and then we check them in and check them out to the next person. For our remote learners, uh, you can return your books by delivering them to the middle school uh, security window in the breezeway. They will take your books for, from you there. Okay, to check out books. This year, we're gonna ask you to use our library catalog to put books on hold, and then we will deliver them to our in-person learners. Um, and for our remote learners, we will leave them at that security desk in the breezeway. So let me share with you how to check out library books uh, online or how to put them on hold online. First, you need to know how to get to our library page. And so we're gonna start at the University Schools website and under helpful resources, click on libraries. All right, once we're in here, there's the elementary high school catalog and there's a the middle school catalog. I want you to click on the middle school catalog. And there are a number of ways to search for books. You can use the search bar. Uh, we have recently added books if you want to scroll through those. We have popular titles if you wanna look through those. We have some topics, if you wanna click on those and see what's in there, and also some award-winning um, lists if you wanna start there. Uh, if you're into a certain type of book, like graphic novels, then you can search for graphic novels and find a whole list. It says over 200 plus graphic novels, and you can try to narrow it down here um, and see if you can find exactly what you want. Okay. So let's say I want to check out this graphic novel. I'm going to click on it and it's going to ask me to log in. To log in, you are going to use your Google username and password. So I have a fake person here that I will use. Oh, maybe not. Okay, there we go. Greg. And your password is those two words that you um, have or logging into Google, it's the same one. And once I'm in, I can either hold the book or choose it as a favorite. I'll do both. I'm gonna put the book on hold and I know it's gonna come up and tell me, oh, you need to go pick it up from the library, but you can't come pick it up from the library. We will deliver it to you. Uh, or here I can favorite it. And you might favorite it because it's a book you want to read, but not one you're ready for right now. So to see what you have on hold, what you have checked out, and what um, your favorites are, you go to this little hamburger back on the home page, okay, and I can see what books that I have favorited, and I can unfavorite it if I want to, once I've read it or whatever. To see your holds, you can go there, and um, you can unhold a book if you change your mind and decide that you don't want it anymore. Okay, uh, so all of that is pretty simple. Um, I would say if you have any problems, you can't get logged in, make sure that you let your teacher know or you let us know. You can email me at ahaas at universityschools.com, Amanda Haas, or you can email Stephanie Hughes, S. Hughes, at universityschools.com, and we will try to fix whatever account issue that you might be having. Uh, we also have a new thing called Sora, which is going to be for ebooks and audiobooks. And I'll do another video on that really soon so that you can see how you can check out um, audiobooks and ebooks as well. All right. Well, it was good to see you. And I hope you start putting a lot of books on hold. Uh, you can have, we usually say four books for three weeks. So um, you can put some books on hold and we'll start delivering them. We are excited. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye.